G'day guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your own stock firmware for your, or any Xperia phone, but in this case, I'll be using the Sony Xperia Z3. So, um, let's get started. So, first you'll need to download Flash Tool, which is an application that allows you to create the firmware from your Sony PC companion application. So when it downloads it, it'll um, extract it, sort of thing, decrypt it, it says. So head over to flashtool.net and then click on the download button. And then I think the torrent, like either the torrent file or the magnet link, so torrenting it is the fastest way to download it because last time it took like an hour, even though it's r a relatively small file. So I would recommend using a torrent client to complete it. And once you have downloaded it, make sure you install it. Which is, uh, yeah, so install that. And if you don't already have the Sony PC Companion, I'd urge you to install that as well, as we'll need to download, or it to download, our firmware file for us. So once you have those installed, um, ha head over to your Sony PC Companion and run it, and connect your phone. Okay. So we're currently just searching for one. And if it does say, all right, so now we have like kind of two steps to go through. So it'll say that you have new um, software version available and you go ahead and download that. Um, I think, all right, let's click update. So usually this will say it will download because I already have downloaded, I think it will go straight in. And then we click accept um, or next you'll get this uh, an another pop-up saying if you wanted to disconnect your Xperia phone and keep on using it, hit yes to that and make sure it just downloads everything from step two so over to prepare, so I'm going to leave that so you've got to download it but not like flash it to your phone if you don't want to and another thing is if you have already updated to the latest version uh, all you have to do is click on no new updates available which is where the blue text should be and then click on repair um, or restore Xperia phone, something like that, like another dialogue. And then from there you would let it download the firmware. Uh, so yeah, once you have downloaded the firmware, go to where you have um, installed your flash tools. So I put mine on the D drive flash tool and run whichever version you have according to what bit your operating system is. So I have a 64 bit version of Windows, so I'd run flash tool 64. So let that load a little bit. Okay, it looks like it's almost done. Okay, probably just something wrong with my internet. But uh, all you need to do now is go to Tools and Bundles and then click on File Set Decrypt. And I'll unplug my phone for now, uh, just in case it wants to do something silly. And for the Source folder, uh, you'll need to go to program data of your C drive. So enter that in and then press on the browse button with the three dots and it'll take you to the hidden folder. And then open the hidden folder uh, program data. Scroll down to Sony. Actually, it might be Sony Mobile. Yeah. Oops. Head over to Sony Mobile, then update engine. Scroll down to DB. And then click on the number. I think there may be a variety, but uh, just click on uh, your number, a bunch of numbers there, and then click on blob underscore fs, and click OK. So you'll see available files here. Uh, you'll need all of them. Hold Shift to select them all. Press this arrow, and then hit Convert. So this will now start decrypting the file and extracting it. So if we were to um, visit the program data folder. Uh, program data and we go to Sony Mobile Update Engine DB numbers blob fs it will start decrypting stuff here and in the main page so this is where we'll just um, leave off for a little bit because it will take a little while alright so to be honest it took less than what I had thought so now it says it will be saved in the decrypted or this is where it will find all the decrypted stuff so that's what we'll need. So don't worry about this. This is just to get a inside look of what it's doing. So you need to set all these the device branding and version. So double click on device, the uh, text box, 
and scroll down to whichever phone you have in case mine's the Sony Xperia Z3 and select which uh, version or model number mine's the D6653 and branding is what kind of area or region it's from I believe mine is Vodafone um, yeah. so it doesn't really matter what you put in there it's just for like you being able to identify what it is it does label as uh, Oceana so and the version is also um, I'll go with ooh, 23 so you would like to find the um, version number the latest oh, this one so you can kind of tell from here I think it starts with 23 and from now uh, from the folder list you want to select all the um, everything except for TA files so go ahead and select them all and just deselect all the TA files and you can leave the rest in there so usually it's cust custom I believe that says custom reset dot TA and FOTA F -O -T -A, reset and click the right arrow to put it into the firmware content and then hit create this will start bundling everything together and making kind of like a flashable image to be flashed via the Sony mobile flasher or flash tool uh, that can get your device back to normal in case you ever need to so it's good to make backups like this just in case you want to go and uh, unlocking the bootloader so yeah uh, we'll come back to this when it's done alright so it says the bundle creation has finished and it probably has and you can see where it has been saved uh, about there so flash tool firmwares so go back to where you have installed your flash tool um, application and click over to firmwares and you should see that we have saved one it's the TF or FTF file which is what um, the flash tool I think that probably stands for flash tool file so that's where it's saved and you also have a torrent file in case you want to seed it to others as an easy way of downloading uh, as opposed to uploading it somewhere and maybe even getting it taken off so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it um, well I hope you got something out of it and uh, please subscribe to see more because um, Christmas time is coming so I guess a lot of opening to do so thank you guys for watching and leave a like down below if you liked this video and it helped you out and subscribe if you'd like to see more